Red Dead Redemption 2 is a game rated M by the ESRB. It's okay. It's okay. You're safe now. You all right? How you guys doing in here? She'll be okay, Arthur. I'm sure she will, Mary Beth. Oh, man. All okay in here, Miss Grimshaw? Well, just trying to keep spirits up while you boys were off gallivanting. I wouldn't exactly call it gallivanting. Keep warm. All of you, keep warm. Just a few more days, and we'll get off this hill. I hope so. Stay strong. It's been a nasty few days. I know. And we've had tough times before. We keep moving, and we keep together. Same as always. All of you. Ain't that so, Mr. Morgan? Of course. Nice little speech. Thank you, uh, thank you, Susan. Jack, hey, buddy. You a bit happier yeah, now, Jack? Will he really be okay? Yeah, I think so. Just needs to rest. Not rot. He seeketh unto him a cunning workman to prepare a graven image that shall not be moved. Have ye not known? Have ye not heard? Hath it not been told to you from the beginning? Have ye not understood from the foundations of the earth? Is it he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers? that stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain and spreadeth them I'll have to check on John here in a second. I just love that there's so many people I can interact with. That okay, Mr. Strauss. To nothing. I think so. Well they done for finding Mr. Marston. Some good news at least. Yay. Yep. They shall not well, try to stay planted. strong. Yay, just get us out of this damn place. Yay, I mean, we're working on it, man. We're working on it. All quiet here while we were gone? I think so. Slept for most of it. Typical. <laughs> well, just hang in there. Yep. Hang on nowhere. You okay, Abigail? Yeah. How'd you boys get on with the old Driscolls? It's dealt with. For now, anyway. Okay, well... Try to stay warm. What a mess this all is. I definitely could uh, focus on John a minute ago. Just need some thaw so we can get those wagons out. I know. We'll be okay. Well, try to stay strong. <laughs> That's basically my go to. Well, everything sucks. <sighs> you doing okay now? I think so. Thank you. Of course. All right. Uh, it's so it's so interesting to check in with everybody. All right. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to more Stephen plays Red Dead Redemption Two. Uh, we are going to head on over to uh, Mr. Pearson and go from there. I don't know if I can actually just call my. I guess I can't call my horse because he's hitched. But I could also just walk this way. Yeah, and this works very similarly. I can tap down and it extends my map just like, uh, just like, basically, uh, just like it does in, um, We're gonna start GTA 5. Here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what, 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough nothing. of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted offal. 
starving would be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. <coughs> Looks like we're going to be learning about hunting today. This is an exceptionally long prologue. Yeah. <laughs> you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. Come on, this way. Come on and turn on cinematic view. Wait, it won't work yet. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay, apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. I uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. So, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. It'd be nice if it was a, a camera that would show the, the horses coming towards you. It never seems to do that. Like side view and, and rear view. days, all right. Right north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, going out for John, that thing with the old Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that. Just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. Well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. You got more to say, Charles? I was enjoying, like, having to chat. Or not, that's fine. Uh, we, we can we can just ride in silence. That's that's cool. The cinematic cam, I know I've already sang its praises, but I, I sincerely love it. It's it's such a good idea. But it only works because of the whole day to follow. Which uh, was a little weird at the very beginning of the, the game, but now seems to be functioning fairly normally, so that's good. Just removes that because you don't need to really pay attention during all of this See stuff. The ground uncovered here. Let's look down this way. <laughs> and I don't the see anything. Down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh. Stay quiet. Yeah, I'm doing what I can. I, I have a horse. It's not hey, as loud as a Chevy, but a it's not I silent. Oh, I'm still in cinematic mode. Has deer been here and recently? How can you tell? You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. A gun will scare everything around. Looks like I might be able to play the entire game in cinematic mode, which is very tempting. Uh, give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that bow. So there's long arm back. And there's long arm shoulder. So I can actually take both, which is kind of nice. And uh, I don't know if I'll need the revolver, but or no, I better take shotgun in case it's I don't know like a freaking bear or something. The bow, Arthur, come on, keep down, move quietly and slowly. No, use the bow I gave you. That'll make too much noise. All right, I got the bow. <laughs> I think so. Maybe not. Focus. Eagle eye. 
Oh. Focus on track. Let's keep moving. It's easier in the snow, but once you get your eye in, you'll be able to track nearly as well in grass and woods. Interesting. All right. So there's an entire, you know, hunting mechanic um, in the game as well, because there has to be. Um, it's 1899. You got to kill some stuff in either that you're going to die. Good to know. Oh, this way. Oh, maybe I should keep stay crouched. I'm just following the... Uh, on the tracks the best I can. It's a little hard to see because it is snow. Because they highlight white, but the snow is white because snow is white. But I'm still following. And I'm trying to be as stealthy as possible so I can get me a... Uh, get me a kill up here. Now, I'm not sure what the bar is counting down for. Wait, look. There they are. Are you ready with that bow? Aim for their head or neck. We want a good, clean kill. Get good tension on the string before releasing. Just don't overdo it. Nice. See if you can get another one. Hunt another deer. Well, shouldn't I go, like, check on the deer that I was doing? Attract an animal's attention by selecting call while aiming at it. This will give you a chance of a clean kill as they raise their head before fleeing. Seems difficult, but all right. Let's make our way uh, first over to the deer that we got. Seems like a good start. Staying crouched because I'm a good hunter. <laughs> the, game, the game urges you to crouch while hunting. I got my arrows back. Oh, they actually, they do not want you to deal with, uh, like, the, the other part of this yet. Okay. Focus on track. So I guess they're, they're going to teach us about, you know, skidding or, or whatever, but uh, not quite yet. And apparently I can run and crouch, which is useful, should save some time. And I believe it probably still counts. That way it doesn't take forever. No, I'm still on the right trail. All right. I'm running. Charles, you with me? I'm trying to figure out... Oh, God. Come on. You're making yourself too obvious. <laughs> I didn't know it was there! All of a sudden, I look up, and it's just standing there, and I'm like, oh, this is awkward. Okay. All right, I got this. When close, study an animal to discover information on it and its quality. Pelt quality is reduced with an average of four kills. I mean, I'd love to... St I started studying horses. It was great. I want to be, a, I wanna be a, a student. A student of Mother Nature. But I got to get close to it. That's a white-tailed deer, which I, I, I knew already, but that's fine. Oh, Jesus. Gosh, I actually had to kill, and then I called it, and it put its head down, which was stupid. But, yeah, I, I did a pretty stupid thing. There it goes. It's gonna, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna stop. All right, this time I got it. I'm not gonna let it get away. Not that way. What are you doing? Oh god, just gotta get a little closer. Hold on, Charles. I need you to believe in me. Just believe it. I, I'm an expert hunter. I got this. Darn it. Unlucky. Take your time. How many arrows do I... Okay, I have 18. 
I got the first one so easily. And I, I could have had the second one, and I just, I screwed it up so badly. Oh, where'd it go? Right, it's tracking it. Oh, doggone it. Where did you go? You st stupid deer. All right, this is it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is, this is it. The final kill. They want me to get a, a quote-unquote cle clean kill by calling it, making it raise its head up. Come on. God. There we go. Well done. I think that's all we can carry. Oh, dear God. That was <laughs> a lot more difficult than it should have been. You sure your hands are okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay, I'll go grab the other one. Whistle for my horse. Your horse will respond to your calls as long as it is in range. Continue to bond with your horse to increase the distance at which it responds to your whistling. Aww. I'm not in range, am I? It did not come when I called, so it's not... Not looking good. Also, this kind of deep while carrying a big old dead white-tailed deer. Oh, there it comes, hey buddy! That's Sally. That's Sally for you. That's Sally, my horse, who I lovingly named. Sally, here you go. Bloop. Perfect. Mount your horse. Okay. Let's go, boy. Charles, where you at, man? Yep. I'm coming. I know you're up here somewhere. Did you get that deer? Head back when you are. Sure. I just need to finish up here. What's taking you so long, man? Is it that hand? You got another good Come one? On, then. Let's head back. Animal carcasses can be dropped off to Pearson to contribute to gangs. Oh my god, we gotta keep track of everybody and make sure that they stay nice work, not dying. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> I've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what that? We we'll still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. My stamina core is gone. Can I use... Uh, you can use satchels while you're on the horse. So can I eat while on the horse? I can smoke while on the horse? Uh, so I need to... Um, fortify is moderately. I need mostly my stamina. And my health is actually fine. If I had something that was just stamina, that would be best. But I don't really have that. That... Fortifies horse stamina. I need, my stamina is the one that's all screwed up. Miracle tonic. See, this is all. There's some good stuff in here. Let's do canned apricots, I guess. Pearson. Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater. We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding the old Driscoll a damn thing. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl. She has a wild look in her eye. <sighs> of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. 
What is it with your Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, yeah, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Nah. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Oh, God. Let's see if we can find another way around. Well, he's got a lot of meat on him. We've got enough here. No need to push our luck. You must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Yeah. I don't know, man. I got a, I got a rifle. Could probably take old Smokey here. Cut up here, off the trail. Where'd he go? That's a bad idea. Have you seen the size of it? You're headed the wrong way. Let's Charles, go, you gotta think about you gotta think about food, Charles. How bad could this be? I need you to move forward just a little bit, buddy. You're all right, boy. Be careful. All right. Now, me and bears in video games, we ain't never really got along real well. That's about to change. What are you doing? Look out! Oh God, bears! That thing was huge. You worry about nothing, Charles! I'll shoot at any bear! Don't talk that much, you me. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah. Sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just know you could run it alone, no problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh, 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy, 20 years? Yeah. <laughs> Taught me to read. John, too. Taught me a few other things. Him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. Man. Jesus, Arthur's How's been with Dutch horse? for 20 years. He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take time with the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that Arthur. horse. Arthur! Oh, watch it. Huh. I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. That was a good talk. The dialogue in this game is, is easily going to be, you know, my favorite aspect, I'm sure. And it's nice to hear these little interactions between the characters. Whoa! I'm gonna hitch time over here. 
Brought some food back, boys. That's not what I meant to do. Get these over to Pearson. Uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Go ahead and grab this deer off of here. You get to eat! That's exciting! I really wanted that bear. I don't know if there was a scenario which we could kill the bear. I think it's well, just well, always going to run, but man, I tried. Just drop it down in here. All right. Bunk. What a surprise. I find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. Why, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yes. Oh. Seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. We'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one, you, you dumped on the floor there. I got it. Done and done. Uh, not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah, well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <laughs> Woo! You've unlocked the Master Hunter Challenge. A few days later... It's been a bad few weeks, but... Dutch, being Dutch, he is busy making plans, and... Dutch, being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Who the hell is Leviticus Cornwall? Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You're still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur! I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but... Look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch? Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now. Railway men. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. 
That gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. Oh man. Sounds like this is going down. All right, let's head out. Next episode, we are robbing a train. I'm pissing people off, but being in their way. See you guys next time for more Stephen Plays Red Dead Redemption 2.